Okay, we are gathered here again today uh, to do another edition of Discovering Auto Treasures. And we're here at this fantastic location of Carrie and, and Chevy and Mary Ann's place. Hi, Chevy, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, we're going to look at his hot rods and uh, look at the fantastic treasures that he's built up around this place. So uh, we're looking at the front of this here storefront that you built, uh, Carrie. This is some beautiful arrangement you've made here and all your toys and I see you've got uh, three wonderful doors here so you're gonna have to tell us what's behind door number one. Door, door number one is a 1940 Chev business coupe. Well how would you like to back it out and let us have a look at it and then you can explain what you've done to it and uh, how long it's taken you. We can do that. So this is your 40 uh, that you have been building on for how many years? Actually, I bought it uh, probably six years ago now. It was sort of built. It was built as a race car. We uh, did some major work to the top end of the motor. We redid the entire interior, and we repainted all the red on it. Wow, beautiful car. How many horsepower is in this thing? Uh, according to the computer, it's 525 at the motor. Wow. 525. So Marianne, uh, tell us, what did you have to do with this? Did you pick the colors or anything like that? or interior? Well, I, I think we worked together. We had friends of ours join us that had built hot rods and mm -hmm. pickups, so we asked them to help us with redoing the interior. Right. And yeah, just designing, lots of thought in it, wanted all curved lines. We didn't want anything squared off, so it was a lot of fun in, uh, in working on the, on awesome. the interior. So. So, and then the coolest part was that we yeah. did win an award for the best interior at one of the car shows. Wow, so that was fantastic. That was no, you did something yeah. right. So, yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, Carrie, how about opening up and let us have a look at the, the motor in this? We can do that. Uh, yeah, Carrie, uh, you, you just mentioned that uh, the motor was a little bit bigger than this when you originally got the car. It was a race car. So why don't you explain what's been done to the motor and why you have it like this now? Well, it was the same motor, but it had a blower on it. Uh, we decided to take that off to make it more of a daily driver. Along with that, there was a few other issues we discovered, so we ended up replacing the heads and getting a nice tune-up done on it, and now she runs like a top. So uh, we just saw what's in num door number one. So tell us what's in door number three. Well, um, we went to a car show. Always yeah. like the tea bucket, which is what we have. And well, what it was is that we thought needed a little TLC. We'd bring it home, we'd clean it up, and we would just sell it again. Then I started driving it. Now that was what four years ago. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. been four years. It's been my ride for four years. So Awesome. Well, yeah. let's get that thing backed out into the sunshine and yeah. see what it looks like. Okay. Here we go. So, Marianne, <laughs> what's the neatest thing about driving this around? I, I got to tell you, it is the smiles on the faces of people from little kids that point, and it's like a giant... 
hot rod going down the road yes. to to older people that come up and just I start conversations with me. It's That's, just it is so cool to ride this. You can make a lot of friends that way. Oh yes, absolutely. That's awesome. Lots of smiles. So. Yes, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, just in really just enjoying it. I think after yeah. the first little work really, on we it, just drove it. We just drive it. So. That's excellent. <laughs> yeah. Another question. We've been looking at number one door and number three door. What is behind number two door? Number two has a 1980 CJ5 Jeep that we bought an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's. A Getting ready for the show, I guess. Eh? <laughs> well, why don't you lift the door and back it out? Okay. So you just bought this an hour ago. So uh, what have you got plans? Are you going to be uh, repainting it or? Do Give well, us a little uh, explanation. It needs a little work. Um, transmission needs some work. Uh, we may paint it. The undercarriage is, uh, it, you know, it's a fairly new build, not used very much, but it was parked outside, so there's some surface rust underneath. Um, so it just needs a bit of cleaning up. And Well, from a hot rod bucket to a, a yes. Jeep, pretty cool, pretty yes. cool. This is this actually 1980. This I would have been in grade 11, 12. In, in the year this was new. Wow. And so this takes me back to my yeah, roots. childhood. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, we're looking forward to see what you can do with it. got a motorcycle, a Honda. Man, this looks like a real a highway vehicle. It is. It's a Honda 1800 VTX. Uh, very nice cruising bike. 110 horsepower, which is pretty good for a two-wheel machine. Yeah. So when you get on the highway, do you uh, ever think of coming home anymore, or you just want to keep on riding? <laughs> It goes wherever. I just follow it wherever it goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I yes, guess he you, does come home. He does come home at night. Yeah. <laughs> Eventually, I leaves come home to eat. <laughs> leaves He's in the morning, comes home at night. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. That's a beautiful bike. Beautiful bike. Now, we're talking to uh, Carrie and Marianne about their collection out here and their hot rods and all that kind of stuff which you've seen. Now, I notice there's an awful lot of green and yellow with John Deere written on it. Uh, is this another hobby that you have, Carrie? Yeah, it's just a small hobby. And so you collect uh, other things other than gas pumps? Yeah, I got a little bit of memorabilia. I got a windmill there, and, and I got a couple tractors out back. Okay, are we gonna sh you going to take a little time and show us your tractors? Absolutely. Let's do it. So we climbed a little walkway up here to the big white door, and uh, inside, look what we got. John Deere tractors. Holy man, how many are in here? Nine. Nine tractors. How long have you been collecting these? Um, probably two years. Only two years for all these? <laughs> yeah. Always God. wanted always wanted a tractor. Yeah. So now I got a few. Do you own any of the tractors? <laughs> well, we own the tractors. Okay. <laughs> I mean, is anyone your favorite? Do well, you draw? I do, I do have favorites, but I I gotta tell you, Wayne, he always wanted an older tractor, okay. and then we both our our backgrounds are farm. We yes. both as kids grew up on farms. And when he said he wanted a tractor and we came to a place that actually had room for us to do tractors, I said yes. And uh, are you going to take these into competitions like at the Armstrong Fair or anything like that? Uh, towing? No. no, they're for me. Oh, they're not just for you? For me. And whoever comes <laughs> over can look at Oh, them. wow. And I, I was actually up here the other day at a barbecue and I heard uh, the motors running on a couple of them. You must have been up here showing people how they That's run. That's right. I'll, I'll start them up. Okay. Got to decompress the engine first. Just turn these valves open. Take the exhaust cap off. And choke it. Turn on the fuel. Everyone's different, so sometimes I forget where the shutoffs are. And I should be good to go. Wow, 
Well, I guess it's uh, the end of the day here, and uh, I'd like to thank you, Carrie and Marianne, for allowing us to come up and have a look at your fantastic place, all your interesting collections, your tractors and your cars and your, your new projects happening, your motorcycle. God, you guys live an exciting life. Um, just like to thank you again for allowing us to be here, and this has been an edition of Discovering Outer Treasures, and uh, just remember to keep on collecting and keep on building. <laughs>